First, I have to point out that we have been reading the Acts of the Apostles for the last eight weeks. And the Acts of the Apostles is a narrative story. It's the history, early history of the church. And we've come to the end of the Easter season. Now we are entered into ordinary time. We're done with the Acts of the Apostles. And we are reading today from the book of Sirach. We're in the Old Testament now. And uh, the book of Sirach is one of the wisdom books, and it's about giving. That's what, the, that's what the message in the book of Sirach today is about, giving. And frankly, the gospel is about giving as well. Peter says, we have given up everything and followed you. And essentially, Jesus says, you can't give anything up for me. If you give up lands or houses or family or this or that, I'm going to repay you a hundred times more. Oh, and you're going to be persecuted too. Okay. So, you know, that idea that you can't outgive the giver. But I think sometimes we think we're giving and we're bribing or we're extorting. And that's what Sirach says in the, in the Old Testament reading. He says, uh, he says to us, but offer no bribes. These he, God, does not accept. Trust not in sacrifice of the fruits of extortion, for he is a God of justice, and he knows no favorites. So God's command to us is to recognize that everything that we have is a gift to us, and that we are called to be cheerful givers. Cheerful givers. To keep the law is a great oblation, and oblation is an offering to God. To keep the law is a a great oblation. So even striving to live a just life is a way of giving to God. Now, it's interesting because in the book of Sirach here, he talks about the commandments are a sacrifice and a peace offering. Works of charity are like offering fine flour. So that's what They used to bring their offerings to the temple and give them to the priest, and the priest would offer them to God in one way or another, either by waving them before the the Holy of Holies or by sometimes they would burn them up, called the Holocaust. But more often, they would just be given, and the priest would use them or whatever, whatever it might be. Now, Sirach is challenging you and me to be givers with a generous spirit, not trying to manipulate God and not trying to bribe God and not trying to extort God, but just to give of our time and our talent and our treasure and trust that God will repay us. In a generous spirit, pay your homage to God and be not sparing of free will gifts. With each contribution, show a cheerful countenance that we would be cheerful in in our prayer and our obedience and our our giving. And um, trust that when we give, we will return. Now, sometimes, and I promise you, this could be the case with a priest or religious or something like Peter saying, we've given up everything for you. Jesus says, you can't give anything to me. I'm going to give you more, but sometimes, this is how I read this anyway, but many who are first will be last. Those who appear to be giving aren't. And so, you know, you wonder. I mean, I think it takes some prayer there to understand when, you know, as Jesus says, you pray for show, you give for show, you fast for show. We can't pray fast and give for show. We have to pray fast and give to pray fast and give. 
and we can't outgive the giver. And so we pray today for a generous, truly a generous heart, one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit.